and welcome. This video is part of a series. Uh, check out the link in the description for the full playlist. Uh, we are creating a Doom level using Eureka Doom Editor. And what we're going to do today, uh, again, I recommend you watch the previous videos, we're going to create a door. Obviously, doors are awesome, so we're going to want to create one. <laughs> we're going to come down this little hallway we created here. So I'm in a 3D view mode, uh, and I'm going to hit Tab to get out of that. S click Center click, or click your mouse wheel down to drag your map around. And right now we have Snap On uh, for snapping to our grid, and our grid is set to 16 which I think is fine for what we're doing here. Five might be good too. Let's do five. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit V to go into vertices mode. And I'm going to start on this vertice that already exists. I'm going to hit space bar, 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 space bar. So I just created three new sectors here. You don't really see them. They all look like they're part of one room here. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit S to go into a sector and I'm going to back tick to unselect everything and select this center of the three. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the ceiling down to zero. Uh, well, so right now our floor is zero, so I want it to the ceiling to be zero. So I want the, the floor height and the ceiling height to be the same. So I can manually click this and bring it down to zero. I can type in zero here. Or you have these presets for uh, headroom, and I'm going to go ahead and click zero. So right now, you may not notice the difference in the 3D view. So let me stay in 3D view here and I'll start raising. You can see that what I did is I lowered the ceiling all the way down. So again, zero will bring that all the way down. Now I want to change that wall texture right there to be a door texture. Let's go to tab mode. But before we even do that, let's go to line mode and I'll tab to unclick, select those. So these two here should be door textures. But you notice that the line is pointing in a certain direction on each one. They're both pointing up in this case. Um, thing is, you that to be able to open and close door, I'm pretty sure you have to have the front of the wall pointing that way. So if I was to create this as a door, and I, was, I could get through it, but if I wanted to go back, I couldn't click on this because it's facing that way. So the way you flip a wall is you have it selected uh, or highlighted with your mouse over it, and just hit W. W will flip these wall textures. Uh, so now that's flipped, I can select that wall, that wall. I can come up here and I can just type in DOO for door and we have some door textures here. And I'll just choose this basic big door texture here. Tab into 3D mode and actually I'm going to change that to this big door one. Just for the pointing out that this is a smaller, it's not as high as the other uh, ceiling textures. So that is one of the reasons I created these two small sectors around it. So if we want, what we're going to do now is hit S. I'm going to choose these two sectors on either side of our door. And then in my 3D mode here, I'm just going to hit our bracket or this key to lower our ceiling down until it matches our door there. And that's one way you can align your door textures to meet the, uh, the rest of the textures. Now, you'll notice our wall texture over here is misaligned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit L here. I'm going to make sure that I don't have my door textures selected, but just these wall textures. And I'm going to hit uh, Shift A until our walls align. And now our walls are aligned there. Perfect. Now there's our door, but Doom doesn't know it's a door yet. We have to tell it that we want to open that. And there's different ways to do that. We're going to select these two walls because those are what's going to trigger. We're going to walk up to either one of these doors and hit Spacebar to open it. So with those walls selected, I'm going to come up here to Choose. And under all this category, I'm going to choose door. And I'm going to choose this first one, DR open door. So I'm going to choose that. Let's go ahead, save our game. So control S, control T to test it. Real quick, let me take care of these bad guys. Boom. Now, I'm going to come down here and I click that and it's going to open and I can walk through. So there's a few things we want to do. Uh, the I can click on it again, and I should be able to if I can fit in this room. I may have not made it big enough. Let's see if the door will close. Nope, okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and back tick and make this other room a little larger. Uh, anyway, what we have here is saying that when you click on either of these walls, open the door. D, we have DR, well, let's look at the letters first. We have D, W, 
uh, S and G. So D means door, but not just any door. It's saying that uh, you are opening a door that is connected to this line segment, to this wall. So as long as the, you're clicking on the door to open it, the D option is OK. Uh, if you have a switch remotely, so you're going to use a switch to open the door, you're going to use one of these S's. And W is for walking, so if it's a sector you walk through and have the door open when you walk through it, that's what W is for. And G, I believe, I haven't used it in a while, but I believe G is gun if you shoot it. We'll have to test that out. I should have tested that out beforehand. Now, the R versus the 1. So you can see that it's going to be one of those letters and then either a 1 or an R. 1 means it works once and it's done and it can't happen again. R means it's reusable. You're going to be able to click on it as many times as you want to open that door. And then the rest of it is pretty self-explanatory. We're going to open a door. Are we going to open the door and have it stay open? Are we going to close the door and it's going to stay closed for 30 seconds before it opens again? Um, you can have a switch that closes a door. Uh, then you can have open a door fast, so it opens fast. So those are all your basic options. Uh, depending on your port of Doom, you may be able to generate other options, but we're not even going to look at that because I don't know what port you're going to be using, and so I don't want to confuse you. So anyway, again, we use DR to uh, say that we click on this door to open it. But let's say I want, we created this little switch texture over here. Let's say I want this switch to open that door. So there's two things we need to do. First, let's go into sector mode, so S, and let's select our sector here that is our door. And we're going to give it a tag. Uh, what you can do is you can type in a, a, a number here and make sure it's a unique number and no other sector is using it. If you're unsure of what numbers have been used, clicking fresh will give you the next number that's available. Since we haven't assigned any tags yet, it gave us one. Now, that sector is one. Now I can hit L and back tick to unselect all those and select my switch over here and I can give it the tag of one. I'm going to tell you right now with Eureka, make sure you click out of that box because I've there many times where I've put the tag and then I go do something else and it didn't assign that tag. Uh, and I appreciate sure if you click out of it, it fixes that issue. So we're saying that this is now linked and you can see that it's linked because if I unselect that anytime I choose that, if you watch the sector down here, you see how it has green walls. When I select that, you can see it turns pink. It's saying that, okay, they both have the same tag number. So let's go ahead and select that. It's tagged, but we haven't told it what to do with that sector yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to choose, and under doors, I'm going to say that it's a switch. So I'm going to choose one that has an uh, S at the beginning. And I want to be able to do it more than once, so R. And we don't want it to stay open, so we're looking for SR open door. If you use one of these regularly, you can also look at the number here, and you can always just type that number in here instead of going and choosing it from a list. But now, uh, if I save my game here, or save the level, let's go ahead and get rid of these bad guys real quick. I should actually just get rid of them while I'm showing you stuff so I don't have to waste my time. I should be able to flip that switch and that door open. And if it closes, I should be able to open it again by switching it. And I should be able to go through it now. I made this room a little bigger, so the door should close. And I should be able to click it to open it. So two more things I want to go over real quick. You'll notice that when I'm doing this, the brick's moving up and down. You should change that texture to some sort of texture that looks like it's supposed to, like a track texture. I also want to do a quick walkthrough. Uh, so let's. Uh, uh, so that when you walk someplace, it opens that door. So real quick, I'm going to back tick to unselect all. I'm in line mode, and I'm going to select these two here, and I'm going to change the texture. I'm just going to go up here and type TR for track and choose that track, so it's going to look a little bit better. And back tick to unselect all. I'm going to choose this line right here. This is a, a, a line that we don't see, but we can walk through. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it the tag of one, again, making sure I click out of that box. And now I'm going to choose from our door category, I'm going to choose uh, W, and I'm going to say that I want it to open. Uh, I can have it do it once uh, by choosing this option. Now I walk through it, open it once, but it will never do it again. Or I can say repeat. I'll just do it once. So I now that I've done that, and you know that it, it's, it's linked to that because when it's selected, that sector is pink. Control S, Control T. Now, again, I should really just get rid of these guys so I don't have to do this every time. Um, 
I can use the switch to open that door. If it closes, I can now walk, and when I walk right here, oh, it opens. And you can see our track texture looks a little bit better. It looks like it's supposed to be moving, unlike the brick. I can open the door like this. I can open it from the other side as well. I also might want to change the ceiling texture for that sector uh, so that it doesn't have half lights on it. But that uh, whole walkthrough, since we said once that walkthrough won't affect it again, but I can still open it here. So that's uh, the basics of doors in Doom. I do thank you for watching. Please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description of the video. You can search through all my videos there. Again, this is part of a playlist. Check out the full playlist in the description of this video. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.